just to take this apart, I'm going to show you the the slide like I did earlier, and then I'm going to take apart the, the grip for you. So for the slide, you field strip it, hold it this time. Now, this here, like I showed you earlier, is the firing pin sleeve. You're going to take your 3 16 or 3 30 seconds punch, hold it down with your thumb, pull off the end plate, and keep your thumb over it because the plunger likes to fly. So we're going to take it out. This is what we're going to go over disassembling. take that out but when you do put it inside your little tape roll firing pin safety if you want to take your extractor out and switch it like I talked to you push it in pull it right back out then this should either come out and the spring should be captured but if the spring is not captured then it has been replaced by a previous owner and you just need to take extra caution because it will not capture itself. See how it stays in? Anyways, there's that. Okay, here is the firing pin assembly. <clears throat> in order to take this apart and service it or clean it, pull the spring back with your thumb, and then you've got two little spring half plastic sleeves. Pull those out carefully let the spring go, put those back in for later. Spring comes off, guide sleeve comes off, that's a done deal. If you're going to polish any parts of this to help with your wear, you would do it. On these down here, the larger lug, and just shine these up here. Don't want to take any metal really off, just shine them up and leave this completely alone. Maybe take a toothbrush or a toothpick just to get the grime of it off. But I just did this one recently so it's good. Anyways, there's the top. Here is the bottom. On my version of the Glock 30 I've got three pins. One, two, three. On yours you may have two, I don't remember. But either way you have to take the pins out. So we're just gonna start now you're holding it from your body. They always come out left to right. And they always come back in right to left. So we're going to take it left to right out. Take your, pin, your punch. Push it out. Sometimes it stays here. That's fine. You can push it out harder later. If this one will not come out, you have to take your slide release and wiggle it as you're pushing down. Do you see that? Wiggle it because it's got a little built-in like a cranny in there that it holds. And this will come right out. Here's your slide release. And you cannot put these back in wrong because they will not fit in any other hole. From here, all we have done is take out the slide release, the slide release retainer, and the trigger screw, or the trigger pin. So that is free, but it is connected to the back. So we must take the back one out. Take your punch, push it out, it should be really easy. And then you can grab this, and it's ready to go. But before you take all of that out, you have to take out the block. See how I just pried it in there underneath? Here's the block. Here's your trigger housing and all of these connectors. You might want to stop there if you're not familiar or comfortable with anything else. It's very simple to get out, twist it, turn it. And the spring is hooked right there. 
parts on the trigger job to shine. You don't want to take metal off of here because this goes up to your firing pin safety and if it doesn't disconnect all the way the gun will not fire. So you can just take a, a, a very high numbered on a file or some 600 sandpaper, shine it up and then take your Dremel and polish it. You don't really want to do a whole lot with this. There's a radius here that you can clean up the same way and just bring it to a high luster shine. That's it as far as disassembly. Okay, reassembly. We're going to hook our trigger spring, pull it back over so it's in, pull it down, turn it sideways so it goes into this notch. See how it fits right in that notch? If you're going to take it, you have to put it in at an angle and then let it come back. Now this is ready to go back in. You can clean this up with a toothbrush or whatever you want, but just don't try to polish it too much except on this radius here and the one that's back inside here. And I'll show you more once I get to your house. You can put that in. Slide it straight down. Done. It doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it's, it's done deal. You could even put this in if you wanted to, but there's no reason at this point. Put your block. <clears throat> Push it down to where it stops. It's not going to go anywhere. Now the three pins that we took out, the two up front, there's a smaller one and a larger one, and they both have recesses cut in them. They're unidirectional, or excuse me, they're bidirectional. You can go either way, and there's no wrong way to put them in, except if you tried to go from left to right. You have to put them in the other direction. So you put the small spring, or the small pin, and that is the retainer for the slide stop release. Okay, the retainer pin is in. We're going to slide this slowly so you can see. So, see, so here's the retainer pin right underneath the block. It's not pushed in completely all the way. I'll show you why in a second. Slide this in in that recess right by the trigger. Alright, now we're ready for our trigger pin. Let's line it up. Sometimes it takes a little wiggling to line it up, but you can see it whenever it comes through. See how I had to wiggle the slide release to, to get it all the way in? And you'll be able to hear a audible click when it's all the way locked in place. Do you hear that? So that's done deal. And the back one, you just push right in. You just try to center it up because it just kind of hold it, holds itself there. There's no tangs on either end of it. So here's the grip frame. Fully functional. Now we'll go back to the firing pin. Put your sleeve on, put your spring on, and you get your spring, there we go, each one has a half, slide it on. opposite of each other of course to make a full circle alright now the one 
one thing that I have learned that you need to avoid is the very end of the spring. It does taper down into a flat, but you want to rotate the spring a little bit away from the half line. So put it at the halfway point between each side of the spring cup, if that makes sense to you. Then we just reassemble. Okay, the little test that I showed you, push down the <coughs> firing pin safety and see if it shakes. Done deal.